The story of Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. Satan caused them to eat from the forbidden tree. Allah created the first human being, our father, Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. Then commanded the angels, including Iblis, Satan, who was a devout worshiper to Allah at the time, to prostrate before Adam out of respect. So they all prostrated, except for Iblis, who refused to prostrate, and he became amongst the disbelievers. Allah the Glorious asked Iblis, Satan, Why didn't you prostrate as I commanded you? Satan responded, Because I am better than him. You created me from fire, and you created him from clay. Satan was arrogant and thought he shouldn't prostrate before Prophet Adam because he was better than him. Then Allah told Iblis, Get down from here because it is not appropriate for you to be arrogant here. You are of those humiliated and disgraced. Then Iblis asked Allah to give him a longer time until Judgment Day. Then Allah allowed him to stay longer. Satan developed a hatred for human beings because he thought he had gotten trouble because of human beings and told God that he would wait and ambush human beings to cause us to slip make mistakes, and do bad things, furthering us away from the straight path, the path to God. Then Allah said, Get out of here. Whoever follows you amongst them will get punished. Allah the Glorious told our father, Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, to enter paradise with our mother Eve, and to eat and drink whatever they wish and live happily. They lived there for a long time. Our Creator, Allah the Glorious, instructed Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, to not eat from this one particular tree. Then Satan whispered to Prophet Adam and Eve, peace be upon them, and tempted them to eat from the tree. He lied to them and told them if they ate from this tree, they would be able to live forever. Prophet Adam and Eve slipped up and ate from the tree. Then God called to them, saying, Did I not forbid you from that tree and tell you that Satan is your clear enemy? Prophet Adam and Eve, peace be upon them, immediately regretted eating from the tree and disobeying Allah. They felt bad, pain, sadness, shame, and loneliness. So Prophet Adam and Eve, peace be upon them, made a dua to Allah, which he had taught them. They said, we have wronged ourselves, and if you do not forgive us and have mercy upon us, we will surely be among the losers. Prophet Adam and Eve, peace be upon them, acknowledged and admitted that they had made a mistake, without blaming anyone or anything else. They acknowledged if Allah does not forgive them and have mercy on them, that they would surely be amongst the losers. Then Allah accepted their repentance, and they returned to the fold of Allah's path and mercy. After that, Allah asked Prophet Adam to come down to earth with our mother Eve, after being in paradise for a long time.